we will now see how to use conditional block in Cognos Analytics. I will start with executing this uh, report in HTML so we can see how our conditional block works. We will see one prompt and one list. But with prompt we can change this list to cross tab or we can select this visualization. So this is similar to render variable but there are differences and we will now see how we can create this conditional block and what are differences compared to render variable. So I will jump to this other report which is empty and we will start by creating our prompt. So I will add one value prompt here. I will name my parameter par uh, conditional block and I will click on finish. Then I will go to static choices. I will click on three dots and I will create a variable that will accept values from this prompt. So I will create a new string variable. I will call it var conditional block and the values inside of this variable can be list, cross tab, and visualization. When I click on OK, I have to uh, choose how my variable will receive its value. So it will receive a value from this parameter. I will click on OK. And now we have to place some values inside of our prompt for user to select. So I will click on plus and I will again use a list. I will use cross tab and I will use visualization. And I will click on OK. Uh, beside this, we will change some of these properties. Uh, we will make our prompt auto submit. We will hide a dormant. We will make default selection, and that default selection will be list. And we will hide that header text, clicking here, and just choosing specify text. Uh, now we have our prompt ready. And the next step is creation of conditional block. For that, we go here to advanced section. And here we have our conditional block. I will edit here. I will uh, select it. And first we have to connect this conditional block with variable. For that we go to this property block variable. We click on three dots and we will select this bar CB variable. We will click on OK. After that in this uh, property current block uh, we can uh, select one of these options. I will select list and now I will create my list. For that, I will add list here inside of conditional block. I will add some columns to it. For example, I will add year and month key. I will sort this uh, list. Now, what is the difference between render variable and conditional block? where conditional block is space. So I can add something more inside of this conditional block. So I can add one more list here. So now I have two lists inside of that conditional block and that conditional block will control both of them. So that is the difference that we create the same functionality in a different way. And sometimes render variable will be better for us. And sometimes a conditional block will be better. Uh, this time I will just leave it to one list. Then I will change this from list to cross tab. Now our conditional block is again empty, so we have a space to create a cross tab. So I will create a new cross tab here. I will add some columns to it. For example, I will add year here and man key here, and I will add quantity here. I will also sort these columns and rows. And then we will again select our conditional block so we can jump to visualization. I will add one visualization here. It will be pie chart. I will add here column to segments and I will add quantity to size. And now when our conditional block is selected, we saw how we can jump between these elements and uh, the same functionality will uh, be uh, the same for this prompt. So we already saw how prompt can control conditional block. But inside of this edit mode, we can uh, change from list to cross tab uh, and to visualization while in page design. If I jump here to page preview, I won't be able to see anything. 
this here that I have selected, this is our conditional block, but we will not see any of those elements. Now let's now run uh, this new report in HTML so we can see whether it is working correctly. Here is our list, here is our cross tab, and here is our visualization. And that is how we use conditional block in Cogus.